Hi, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is going to be a short video about how to create a custom page with a custom section uh, for a Shopify store. Uh, so currently, uh, when you have a Shopify store, uh, it only allows you to uh, easily add sections onto the home page. Uh, but if you want to add a section for anything other than the home page, then you kind of have to go into the code uh, if you want something beyond uh, the regular customizer that's uh, in, the, in the page editor. Uh, so first of all, we're just going to go into pages and create a new page. Um, actually, let's go into code first. So in order to create a, a new uh, page template, uh, we want to uh, go into edit our code and click on add new template. And this is going to be a page template. So we'll name this uh, example. So what this is going to do is it's going to name it uh, page.example.liquid. And let's click Create. Uh, and we're giving this um, kind of template code here. Uh, and if we scroll down over here, we can see that uh, page.example was created. Um, and let's just uh, delete that for now. We'll save this. Uh, so when we created this uh, page that example that liquid in our code, it's going to appear in our uh, pages tab over here uh, in the templates. So we can see here that page that example appeared. Uh, very cool. And uh, let's just name this page example page. And um, let's save it. So once we do that, and we go into the customizer, we'll be able to see it over here once we refresh. And sometimes it takes a while. So there we go. So as we can see, our only page just appeared here. And when we click on it, it's going to be completely empty. So the footer and the header are always included on Shopify themes um, by default. Um, and so right now it's empty, right? So how do you actually add a custom section to this? And we do that by going back into our code and we create uh, new liquid tags and we type in section and the name of that section that we want to add. And uh, let's see, let's choose a section that we'll add. So these are all the sections that are pre-made for us with the debut theme. Um, so we have, let's see, let's add something like mm, feature row. So all we do in here is type in feature row. And now this is basically telling us that in between the header and the footer, this feature row is going to be placed. So let's save that. Go back to our customizer and refresh. And now basically we should have the, the feature row. There you go, image with text. And um, we have that here. So some of the, the names are actually kind of weird. Um, so if we, so by default, this uh, section is called feature row, but if we wanted to know what the actual name is, that's gonna come up over here in our uh, customizer. Uh, we would go down to the schema. So the schema is basically the code that creates the customizer. And I'll talk about this in later videos, but in this video, I just wanted to quickly cover um, how to basically place these uh, sections in the code by yourself. Um, and so with uh, a lot of the uh, Shopify themes, you'll get um, it, the, the names in different languages, which can be kind of confusing, but um, let's see, where's English? So we can actually remove all this stuff for now, just to make it um, look a little bit more uh, legible. And we can see here that the name is actually image with text. And if we go in the customizer, we can see that it's also called image with text, which is kind of confusing because it's called feature row uh, in the code but it's actually called uh, image with text in the, uh, in, in the customizer. So 
Uh, that's kind of some of the things that you have to look out for when you're creating your own sections is to make sure that the section that you want is um, is the one that you're actually placing in here. Um, anyways, I hope that was uh, clear enough. Uh, thanks for tuning in again. See you next time.